What a beautiful day for a flight. Blue skies, it's cool. Can't wait to get going. Wait a minute. Hmm, not a great way. Let's try it again. Let's try this again. Maybe that was my uh, first mistake, but let's try this again. We're going to do cameraman with the Anafi to go around the car. And look at this. Beautiful. Goes around. Nice. Too bad the car isn't clean. But it goes around beautifully. And I can move the camera in and out, zoom in and out. I can change my distance, my elevation, and it keeps track of the car. This is cameraman, the beauty of it. And I can speed it up and slow it down. It's beautiful. Uh, I just wanted to try it, and it worked out great. So we went around once, and it was beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. So if we can go around once, let's go around a second time. Yeah, it's just a beautiful day for this. And, oops. Yeah, we had an oopsie, all right. So it just uh, went around, and then all of a sudden, nothing. So let's slow this down a little bit. What actually happened here? Watch the red arrow. See, that's the shadow of the drone. Boom. Hits the tree. So here's a look at it from the tablet's point of view. So it made a recording a little later than what the video showed. And the last image shot was this image. And it lasted for about eight seconds. And then... After the eight seconds, the screen went blank, so I didn't have FPV, or I didn't have a video feed for some reason. But then, something strange happened. This happened, and after this, 13 seconds of black screen, I get a blue screen. So, it means it's getting a feed. But the stranger thing from that is, it's actually saving a video. On the on the NF, it actually saved this three minute blue screen video. But at the end of it, this is what happens. Black to white. Let's look at that again. Dark to white. Oh well, enough of that. Okay. We lost it. So let's go find it. The last image I had of it was something like that. So if I go back in here, and I must admit, I've already found it, but it was scary for a while. We come in here and this snow is so deep, and somewhere around here, if I turn around, there's the vehicle. So in actual fact, where did I find it? I found it right here. So I hit this tree up here and landed in here. And here it is that I found, but it was laying like this under the snow. And I heard the beeping of the motor and the blue flashing light. I think it was upside down, but it was there covered in snow. We'll see what it's like, but it hit that tree, I'm assuming, right there. And it just landed, poof. It took me about 15 minutes. I thought it was over here. Because if I turned around, I saw that. But when it dropped, it would have been here. So I guess it fell on an angle. So this is the beast, covered in snow. What I'll do is I'll take it home, I'll blow all the snow off, take the battery out, and I'll just let it dry for three, four days. See what happens. Maybe I'll put it in some rice. Probably a good idea. But I thought it was here. Ended up being a little bit over there. Fell in the snow, nice and soft landing. Shouldn't have broken anything. So we'll go back. But yeah. The Anafi. I was doing cameraman. It was going pretty good, but I guess I didn't abide by number one rule. 
keep your eye on the drone. Oh well. At least I found it. That's the most important thing. So, let's get back in the car. And we'll see what happens. Okay. Till the next part. Okay, so we got it at home, dusted it off, put it in a bag, put some silicone chips inside, and left it overnight. In the next morning. So checking further, the back one is obviously what got hit. And the way it was flying, it would have been this one here that hit the tree first. And that's the only one I see the chip on. But at the end, I see a slight deviation in the very end here. It's kind of a flat instead of a swoop. So here's the other propeller. And it just looks a little flatter on the end. So if I can get them in focus or not, but anyway, that's the correct one. So I've got four ready to go, but when I look at these ones, that one seems to be okay. The ones on the other side just seems to be chewed up quite a bit, and a little, little tiny bit on this one. So we're going to, the others seem pretty good, the others seem pretty good, so I may or may not change these ones, I really don't know. I think I should for the sake of argument. Um, so I'm going to change these two and this one. So there we go, these two and this one. Okay. Okay, a day later, we're back at it. We've got it all fixed up. We changed two of the props that were really damaged. And black is on this side, black, white, and white. The circles in the propeller shaft. Okay, these go clockwise, these go anti-clockwise. So we're gonna start it up with them turned that way so we try and prevent that chipping. Okay, so we're gonna put it down. We're gonna put it down. Set it up. Again, we've got clockwise, so we're going to go that way and that way. Counterclockwise, that way and that way. Clockwise, that way, that way. Counterclockwise, that way and that way. Okay, so let's get the controller. Now let's do an automatic takeoff, see what happens. There we go. And last time I did this, there was an interference because I guess I started on the truck or the car. But it's hovering there pretty good. And I can go up with the camera and I go down with the camera. There's a bit of a lag because I'm doing a lot of things with the tablet. So can we do a turnaround? This is cinema mode, really slow. Okay, really slow. Okay. Let's land it. Just as a point of clarity here, I did take it for a nice little flight. You'll see some of that video at the end. I just wanted to make sure everything worked properly. And it did. Bingo. Here we go, Dianafi. I can't say anything bad about it. Um, I'll check on the speed of the crash, I, but I think my problem was when I was rotating to the right, my thumb probably pulled back on the right stick a bit. And we increased the radius of the circle, of the orbit. And it went up to, I think, 15 or 16 meters. And it must have been going about eight meters per second. So it hit this side into the trees. So I changed these propellers and one on this side. So 
I can't say anything bad with it. It was absolutely packed in snow, packed in ice, brought it home, dusted it off, put it in the bag overnight, took it out, and it works perfectly. I can't see anything wrong with it. So, survived another crash. Great. The marks on top here are from way back when I tried a hand catch, fell out of my hand onto the concrete floor, spun around. That's why these are all marked up, but that was over a year ago. But great, great little machine, works great. And another day I'm gonna take it back, I'm gonna do some orbits properly. I might take it down to the lake, do some proper cameraman orbits. I'm gonna try this parallax thing, where you go around an object at a distance, but you zoom in, you're staying here, but you zoom in and go around the object. And the background speeds up four times faster than the foreground. So I want to try that. But other than that, 4K video, beautiful. 2K, beautiful. Even 1080p, absolutely gorgeous. Everything's on automatic. I don't play around with the settings at all. So it's phenomenal. Again, paired nappy, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay? So there's my crash. This is my recovery. That's how I fixed it. Onward to the next one. See you then. Thank you. Hold the phone. Just hold the phone. I got more questions than answers here. I've never before seen a video of a crash where you don't see some movement in the trees. When it hits the tree, you see the branches in front of the trees, the leaves, whatever. Not in this instance. It was just suddenly it stopped. Uh, I can't figure that out. Also, I can't figure out why there was a disconnect for 13 seconds and then the blue screen starts recording again. It doesn't say it's recording on the app, but there's an actual image file created on the Anafi of the blue sky, which lasted three minutes. Was it the sky? Was it the ground? Was it the flashing light? What it was, I have no idea. The other issue is, go back and look at the screenshot. The screenshot final image is a couple of frames ahead of the actual video, which is usually backwards because normally the flight video records more than your screen video not in this case and it lasted for eight seconds i can't explain that either so a lot of things i can't explain i can't explain at the end of the blue image file suddenly turns darker and then goes to a white screen i can't explain that all i know is i didn't activate the video i didn't do anything so there's more questions and answers i have no idea but there it is uh, it crashed my fault i repaired it it works great everything's back to normal next time oh and yes i have no idea why it was in race mode racing mode no idea but lesson learned on to the next one thanks for watching enjoy stay safe Oh, and one last thing. If anybody has any ideas or any answers to some of these questions I've asked, please let me know. I'm scratching my head over it. Okay. Thank you.